Hi guys and welcome to JTech WP. In this video I'm going to cover some alternatives to Linktree like how to build a landing page using WordPress so you're basically not paying a monthly fee at all like some of the competition. After we built the landing page I'm going to check out the other competitors such as Solo and Convert in Bio that's available on AppSumo and all the links are in the description below. Right then let's get started. So you're looking for a free alternative to Linktree. Linktree's pretty cool. It does quite a lot of things. You can put in your channel name here, use it anywhere, and link to all kinds of things. But there is a better way, a way that you can do it for free. What I'm gonna do is go onto my own website. I'm gonna create a page, so add new page, call my page links. Then we're going to edit it and make it with Elementor. And what the plan is, is we're going to make our landing page using Elementor and we're going to make it mobile friendly. I'm going to start by hiding the page title. So let's get rid of this bit here. And we're going to jump straight into mobile view. Now that we're in mobile view, I'm going to put everything into canvas mode to minimize as much as possible. So I go to our page layout and go to Elementor canvas. Then go back to our mobile view here. Going to add in a section. We're going to add an image into here. Choose our SVG logo. The reason I'm using SVG is because I can scale it and it's going to look really sharp. And also look at the file size, 10 kilobytes. The whole point of this page is making everything really, really fast. So these files are going to be tiny. Insert media. Then we can go into our style. We can set the width. So 30% seems to be about right. And press update. To make it easier for users to get back to this page, I'm going to click on our image, go to content, under link, I'm going to go to custom URL and type in our links page. So now if anyone clicks that, it's going to take them back to this page. I'm now going to create a new section just for my social media. So here's our new section. Do a search for social icons, drag that across. Now we've got Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. So I'm going to add Instagram on there as well. And if you've got any others, you can add those. And then I'm just simply going to add the links. Then press update. Say for example, you want to get somebody to enroll in your Udemy course. I can copy my URL. Then I can go for a call to action. Drag that in. And then we can go to our link, add my course link in here. So we can edit our heading. I can put my course title in. I can say online course. So I link set and then I could add my image. Upload my image from my media library. Insert media and there we go. So you could style that exactly how you want. You could add more sections, more buttons. However you want to lay it out, anything's possible in Elementor. If you wanted to add custom background images in or a, say something like a gradient, what I do is I drag this widget up to there and then we can set a section background for this section here. I click on edit section and we can go into our style and then you've got different background types. So you could have a solid color if you wanted a solid color. I'll go for one of my global colors. So if I wanted to make sure you've got one of your brand colors, like that's one of the blues for my logo, I could do it that way. Or if I wanted to have an image in the background, I could click image. I'll have some whichever image you wanted. Let's put that in the background. You can do it that way. Okay, so it doesn't stand out very well. So that's a thing I wouldn't maybe do. Or if you wanted to have a gradient, you can choose your gradient colors here. Maybe go for something a little bit more closer to the elemental colors. So you can do things like that with using Elementor instead of using Linktree. And if you wanted to add more additional buttons, we could literally do a search for buttons, drag in a button underneath, we could scroll down, we could play around with that button styling, 
add your button here so I could call it YouTube and then I could put in my link you could change the button color so it matches with the YouTube we could go background color red and maybe put like a small border radius on it so you try five pixels and make a box shadow say with a white color on it so you can do all these kind of things quite easily with Elementor when you're happy with your page you can go into your Instagram app go to edit your profile add your new link in press done and then when you click on your link it will take you to your new WordPress page that you've just created I just check the links working I click on my course link and it's taking me to the Udemy course page so happy days that's it I spent a few minutes tweaking it so it looks a little bit better adjusting colors like font making it stand out a bit more one downside to doing it this way is how do you track when someone's clicked a button well I've got a solution for you there is a handy plugin called events tracker for Elementor and you just install it and if you've got Google set up it's a pretty straightforward process so to install it exit to our dashboard we go to plugins add new search for events tracker for Elementor install now activate so I'm back on my links page I can click on my call to action and look what we've got here we've got a new panel and we can click events tracking I've got Google Analytics turned on so I can just click on that for event category I'll call it outbound link and we'll call it click like it's saying in here and for the event label I want to say it's my IG Udemy button one other option that you might want to consider is solo.to it's kind of like Linktree but better and it works out quite a bit cheaper as well and look what you get for most people the personal is going to be fine the most popular is going to be their entrepreneur one so it's well worth considering that maybe this might be a viable option if you don't want to set up analytics and go through the hassle of building the page yourself because this is a really great alternative to Linktree you just sign up add your content and start sharing there's also one more option that might be worth looking at it's from AppSumo and it's called contact in bio so this is another similar version of Solo and Linktree. I'll put a link in the description below where you can get all of them. It shows you what you get using Contact in Bio versus Linktree. So let's check it out. We can already see that there's quite a substantial difference on what you get. So it includes Google Analytics, custom video backgrounds, online store, edit links, adding video, adding images, adding image carousels, text music services links, adding payment links, update Twitter card description. So looking at the comparison, it does seem like you do get a lot more with Contact in Bio, plus you can buy it for a one-time fee. You can either buy it off Contact in Bio site, or you can also get it from AppSumo. If you want to learn more about web design, I'll leave a link to my Udemy course in the description below. Well guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to hit that like button and smash that subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.